So we're here with uh, Ortiz and uh, so hello, so who are you? My name's Claire Ortiz. So uh, you're talking about, what are you talking about? This is a... Uh... So what we do is we are a design, development and uh, essentially apparel experts in performance materials, in innovation, in engineering and in garment development. So here's an example of one of our garments which is um, it's a fully integrated, fully functional performance wool. Uh, we don't do anything that isn't high performance. This is a seven-in-one material that we essentially formulated our own fabrics. Everything is laser cut, seam sealed, even our buttonholes are not sewn. They're actually a, a sonic weld. So we utilize the highest end technology in laser cutting in uh, motion dynamics as well um, and in the way that we construct all of our garments seamlessly, efficiently and uh, pretty high tech. So um, we hear at uh, uh, the wearables, printed electronics, uh, ID Tech X and so what's going on? What, what's going to happen? So what we're doing now is we're taking everything that we have done with our collection in high-end high performance materials and embedding printed electronics. Our goal for our collection is that anything that you wear that is functional should never be obtrusive. It shouldn't feel like you have technology on. Um, it should feel integrated uh, as if it's part of your body. So, what we're so doing all these can have technology inside? Yes, and as an example, we're working with only printed electronics. So for instance, this is our uh, fitness garment, it's already integrated with a lot of details that include zoned cooling, it includes uh, zoned protection for the muscles, lactic acid control, so that a person can perform at a high, high level and reduce uh, injury to the body as well as allow someone to perform at a longer um, time span. We add to that then the printed sensors and printed electronics. So when you look at it from the outside, you know, people are coming and saying, well, what is it? There's, there's no electronics here. But in fact, there are. It's all um, uh, six areas of printed sensor. So this is a silver paste ink. It feels like nothing on the body. Um, these are the sensors here that would take bio readings and then a small central module which we don't want to show uh, the actual electronic because the whole goal is that everyone can see that this is the most lightweight and literally seamless way to build electronics intuitively into a garment. So the idea is uh, uh, this this will take the, the, the bio uh, information exactly. like uh, heart rate, right, breathing, right. body temperature and um, we can essentially create so many things inside of the body, but then also with our expertise in apparel design and development, we understand that it's not just about the electronics. When you put it together with all of the functionality of engineering true performance for a human body as well as integrating it so that it is really truly seamless, um, that's when we're talking about, you know, high-end intuitive uh, motion dynamic electronic wearables. So this is the most exciting uh, area of wearables, right? Uh, is getting into the clothes. Yeah. We're, um, we're you know, essentially challenging ourselves and the, the industry, I would say, in the electronics world to try and build things that, uh, like I said, that are completely intuitive um, in the apparel world especially in performance apparel, you want to feel like you have absolutely nothing on. So all of the devices should feel like they're actually part of your body and not that extra. The other thing that's really key is that everything that we're building has to be machine washable. It has to be able to last a very long time. So we take a lot of care in the testing and the development um, and making sure that from a quality perspective, product is gonna really last a very long time. Um, and be useful and what's, affordable. What's this uh, demo, for example? So this is an example of uh, what we call burnout printing. This is not uh, normal dye stuffs. This is one fabric. These are the same fabrics, 
this is a burnout technology. And so what we do is we burn out portions of the fabric to allow for breathability. And we do it in what we call um, artistic formation. So though this looks like, you know, a beautiful blouse, what it actually is is a zoned cool, moisture management, UV protectant, antimicrobial, uh, and within the print it is allowed to be immensely lightweight. You add to that that these prints, you see these flowers here, could in fact be a silver paste electronic ink that would have conductivity in any way that we want. So we're displaying the fact that technology and, and printed electronic innovation doesn't necessarily have to be um, so I'd say uh, electronic looking, it should be art. And in fashion, if it isn't stylish, if it isn't really beautiful, then it's all for naught. So this is the, this is the trick. You want to get all this uh, technology yes. uh, into stylish design and nice looking. Exactly. And then exactly. Uh, there will be lots of sensors in there, potentially. Exactly. And with all of the technology that exists, what we want to do is make sure that everything that we're building uh, feels like it is just the most you know comfortable and performance uh, driven product without feeling like you're wired up or wired in uh, to anything. Right. So next year potentially people can start buying these uh, with all, all oh, the sensors gosh. inside. How let's, long is it going to take? Let's hope in the next six months that we can uh, get all of these things to market. And that's a really good question. What we have done is taken a lot of time to make sure that all of our products are already tested and approved. We're working with uh, a lot of agencies to test and develop brand new electronics. This is um, an example of our printed electronic. This is a silver paste ink. And imagine that something like this is uh, essentially printed onto a garment directly. And so, it will be inside. Yes. So this is what you see on the inside of that garment. And how to make sure that all these sensors have real functions and uh, can do all the stuff that people want to have? Well, that, so that's where all of the expertise comes in, right? We have worked with a lot of folks on our side, um, as well as our key partners, and that includes uh, the DuPont uh, team, in collaboration so that we're essentially bringing together some of the smartest people, I'd say, in uh, printed electronics industry to make sure that the sensors, in fact, do work before we go to market. And even the shaping and where they're placed is critical. And one thing that we know um, that is very different about the electronics industry or the tech industry is that the human body is, is dynamic. It is in motion all the time. And no two uh, humans are built the same. So when we're developing our electronics, we have to take into consideration sizing. Sizing is key. It's something that is, um, you know, our technical expertise. And so when we're developing all of our prints um, into the patterns and into the fibers of our clothing, we're taking into consideration the size of the human body, how it's going to move, um, and what it could potentially do um, after garment is washed, after it's worn, so the the react and retract uh, effect is really important. In the first generation, there would be a small box here, right? Yeah. So this is where the electronic uh, module sits, um, and so so it would be in the middle of the shirt. It would right, be module. Right. So the module sits here, and right now we're working with a few partners to develop a um, fully encased and washable. Uh, module because again what we want to make sure of is that all of our products are machine washable easy to care for uh, safe and so all of the elements that go inside whether they're accelerometers or uh, Bluetooth or um, even the batteries they have to have a long life have to be able to be washed um, worn and easily cared for and and really important that you know these are not you know, Tesla prices. Not that we don't love Tesla, we all would love one, but the idea is that we're bringing technology to everyday working people around the world. So 2016 is going to be exciting for smart clothes. Very exciting, yeah.